V Uchle areně Praha před pár okamžiky byla dokončena soutěž na 150 cm, započítávaná do žebříčku Longin Ranking v rámci Zlaté tury. A my už zde máme vítěze. Vítěze, který reprezentoval Turecko Omer Karajevli. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Uh, you know, you are the 76th in the Longin Ranking at the moment. This was another class written and collected in the Longin Ranking, FEI. Uh, how does that feel to you that you won here in Prague? It's very nice. It's my first time in Prague in this show. Uh, I'm very happy. My horse had a little break. It's his second show after the break. He won the last time. Uh, I did only small one, uh, one star Grand Prix. He won that class already so that he wins this again. It shows nice hope for the next, the coming of the season. Uh -huh. uh, turecký reprezentant je aktuálně 76. v žebříčku Longin Ranking. Dnes připsal další vítězství se svým koněm, který měl krátkou přestávku, ale vypadá to, že je v dobré kondici a že to tedy do budoucna bude opět kvalitní člen jeho týmu. Omer Karajevli, you are a member of a Turkish team. In a few minutes we will see you competing in the Nations Cup Olympic qualifier. Uh, are you nervous? Are you excited? How do you feel now? Uh, I mean, every show we are nervous and excited to do well, that's for sure, but it's just another show for for my horses. We do quite a lot of big shows uh, lately, the last two years, so I think we had a good uh, preparation. So, I mean, if everything goes well, we will see. I think it will be fine. Omer Karajevli je skutečně velmi zkušený jezdec, startoval na olympijských hrách, startuje na mnoha pětivězdových závodech i v rámci Global Champions, takže vypadá to, že je velmi dobře připravený na dnešní pohár národu a na kvalifikaci na olympijské hry v Paříži. Omer, you are also competing at the Global Champions, am I right? That's correct, yes. And is this your first year so this year or you were also in Prague playoffs, uh, if, I, if I remember you? Yes, last year was my first year in the team uh, and now this is my second year. I did the uh, Prague playoffs, which was very nice and a uh, big experience. So uh, that's why our horses are quite good in shape and quite high level. I don't think this qualifier should be too much different than that top level. That was my next question. Can you compare this show to all the beautiful shows in the world at the five-star level? How do you feel here in Prague? How do you like it here? Ooh, in Prague, here it's for sure with the Olympic qualifier, it's always uh, pressure for all the riders and the horses. But the sh as a show with these fences and with this ground, it's, it's amazing. It's for sure uh, worth to be a top-class five-star show. You know, they have beautiful jumps and beautiful arena. Very nice service, very good uh, stables, very nice warm up. So uh, the horses have it very well. A lot of grassing, a lot of places to train. So it cannot be better. We cannot complain about the accommodation and the show. I must say. That's really nice to hear. I would say I would tell it to organizing committee yeah, definitely. Uh, Omer Karevli si velmi dobře hodnotí tento areál, celou tuto pražskou uh, část, kde máme my možnost sledovat pohár národů. Připravený je dobrý parkour, překážky kvalitní, stejně tak vlastně je to srovnatelné s pěti hvězdovými závody klidně po celém světě. Je velmi spokojený a je určitě trošičku pod tlakem před uh, za chvilku startujícím pohárem národů. Omer, best of luck in the Nations Cup anyway. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Thank you.